wait, should I? Yeah, I'll just lay this here. I just picked up my bridesmaid's dress that I needed to get altered because it was way too long. And then I picked up some pants that also needed to get altered. And it was all done very last minute, so I'm glad that they were able to do it. Hopefully it fits. I don't even like want to try it on in there right now. It's way too hot, you guys. It's 100 degrees. Like we, Ayla's still here with me. We're dying. But you've been waiting in the AC, so you're good. There's no AC in there. Really? Look, they have the doors open. Like there's just hot air. That's what it is. So ever since Ayla and I filmed the Starbucks video where we like tried a bunch of different drinks that you guys sent us, we have become addicted to the strawberry acai refresher with a pump of raspberry which i'm actually ordering right now because i just want to pick it up on my way home i'm getting a venti do you want one no it's okay really yeah you're being weird <laughs> mm. i just got a cupcake you guys from this bakery that um the day of our engagement they got us a cake and that cake was so good. So Ayla and I stopped by the bakery to like try some other things. And they make wedding cakes and they were really nice. And this cupcake is huge. Like what in the world? I got a strawberry with strawberry frosting. I'm going to try it. Okay. You're going to eat yours later, right? Yeah. Their cake is really good. I'm coming over. What? Leave me out. Living her best life. Look at her. I love this. <laughs> Look at how yummy Ayla's lobster mac and cheese looks. I'm definitely gonna try that. Look at how yummy my salad looks. Yum. <laughs> and then we ended up trying Pete's coffee. And it's so good. I got a lot of uh, matcha. I got a matcha <laughs> to match with my matcha case. It's so good, you guys. Hi, guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Um, oh, my God. It's going to be 1 p.m. Wow. So I just opened up a package, and it's a wedding gift or an engagement gift from someone. So they sent us personalized flutes with our names on it. It says Melissa and Chris. And they also sent us, like, the... The cake cutting set and it's also engraved with our names it's gonna be hard for you guys to like actually see it but the engravement is there but the only problem is i have no idea who sent this to us because there's no no and then on the invoice it says ordered by melissa sent to melissa so i guess they just typed in my information from the ordered and sent to information i have no idea who it is and i feel so bad because i want to thank whoever it was but it has to be like a family member or a friend someone that has our actual address because they came to our house today so Whoever sent this, let us know so we can thank you. This was such a sweet gift. I love it. It's really beautiful. Um, so today's our last day here in... Not our last day ever, but it's Ayla's last day here. <laughs> no, you don't. You look gorge. I look crazy. Look at me. I'm in sweats. My hair is wet. I look like a wet dog. <laughs> you agree? No, I don't agree. Uh, it's our last day here we're leaving tonight to jersey we're gonna spend like three days there and then we head to vacation or straight from there <sighs> i always get a little stressed out before vacation you know what stresses me out is the fact that i have to like pack for jersey and vacation even though it's a few days only it's just a lot and i like to leave everything clean so right now i'm just tidying up a little bit we're gonna go get pedicures we're gonna go get pedicures so I think we're gonna do that first and I can just come home and tidy. Fresh towel. Um, I just finished doing my hair cause um, I just wanted to have it done for tomorrow. Tomorrow, we have a few things happening in Jersey. We have our friend's birthday and I don't wanna have to do my hair over there since I have all my stuff here anyway. So I, I just did my hair. Also, I wanted to pack my hair stuff. That's why I did my hair also. On my channel, I do a mixture of sit down videos and vlogs personally i love vlogging more i like the vlog style videos those are the ones that i have the most fun filming and i feel like you guys like vlogs more from my channel also so 
when it comes to sit down videos like when i sit down and talk about one specific topic do you mind if sometimes i mix those into a vlog instead of making it its own video for example i already filmed a sit down video about like my favorite products for like healthy blonde hair i was looking over the footage and i didn't love that video like i just didn't like how it looked um so for sure i'm gonna refilm it right now actually i'm gonna just include the products in this vlog instead of making it its own sit down video because you guys would then have to wait like another week or two for me to come back and film that because like i said earlier i'm heading to jersey tonight and i don't have time to refilm it i already packed my makeup and everything so i'm not gonna be doing my makeup today that being said i'd rather just include that content into this vlog i feel like it's more fun to watch that way it's just more like natural one-on-one -on -one with you guys and you get the info and you don't have to wait a few more weeks so you guys let me know if you like a sit down video or if you want to see stuff included more vlog style for now i am going to include this more vlog style because i feel because like i said i just want to show you guys what i've been using these are the products that have made being blonde so much easier and they're the reason that i've decided to stay blonde a little bit longer because otherwise i would have just gone back to brown hair so I switched up my shampoo and conditioner and I've been using these two. It's by Living Proof and this is their color care shampoo and conditioner. It helps color last longer it's, and it's so fade free. Both of the products are so fade free. And for sure, I noticed a huge difference because before I, I wasn't using, uh, I was using a shampoo that I liked, but it wasn't for like protecting your hair color. And I can definitely tell a difference now that I've been using this, especially because I went lighter and I feel like the color has been holding up really, really well. Like I have not been to the salon since my last appointment when I went lighter. Sorry, I'm like dropping things. And for sure, it's a huge thanks to a mixture of these products but for sure i'm really glad that i switched to a shampoo and conditioner that are actually for taking care of your hair color and protecting your hair color after i get out the shower i do like to use this oil this is a new brand that i've been using and i really really like this brand it's called playa and this is their ritual hair oil so this gives you shine it's a really repairing and protective oil for your hair and it's super light and like almost weightless which is really important to me because i do like to add an oil to my hair but I'm very picky with what oils I add because I have extremely fine hair and if I add something that's too heavy, once my hair is dry, it just looks like sticky and oily and dirty and nobody wants to look like that. This oil is incredibly fine and I really like the applicator also. It's just like a little droplet style. Before the oil, I should have actually mentioned this one. This is my absolute holy grail now, like most amazing product ever. It is called, it's by the brand Sacha Juan. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll show you guys a little close up of the actual product. This is the brand Sacha Juan and this has made the biggest difference in my hair. Like when I tell you I'm addicted to this, I'm taking the entire bottle with me on vacation. Like this needs to be with me at all times in case I have to wash my hair in Jersey again. When I'm on vacation, I definitely need to have this at all times, especially because I'm going to be going in the pool and the beach and you know your hair gets like a little rougher. This is going to be a lifesaver. I cannot, like, this is the most amazing product ever. Like, if every, I feel like everyone can benefit from this, whether you're blonde, if you have color treated hair, if you have really rough hair, if you have really damaged hair, like, everyone is going to love this. I think it just makes your hair instantly soft. And I noticed the difference from the very first time I tried it, but I was like, I need to try it for a little bit longer before I tell them if I really like it. And you guys, like, it just keeps getting better and better and you know with blonde hair well, um once you apply like any type of conditioner it'll soften in the shower but once your hair is once you're out of the shower and your hair is damp it can start to get a, a little rough feeling and in the past my hair would always feel really rough and it was so difficult to style and ever since i started using this i do not have that problem even when my hair is wet it is so soft and it's really important to keep your blonde hair like moisturized and feeling soft because otherwise it can break really easily like if it gets stiff it'll just like snap and that has happened to me and it's not fun okay next product i want to talk to you guys about is my purple shampoo this is my favorite purple shampoo it's by fanola no yellow and it's just amazing you guys super inexpensive i order mine from amazon i think it's like 10 or 11 dollars something like really cheap and i've tried probably like every single purple shampoo i have tried so many different purple shampoos and this is definitely my favorite a little tip for you guys the way i use it is that i apply it all over my hair 
when my hair is still dry before the shower so i kind of do it as a mask before the shower and i'll leave it on for about 10 minutes i rinse it off and it looks like your hair got a bit toned it definitely works better that way i've tried it with my hair wet and i don't feel like i see much of a difference but when i apply it to my dry hair and then shampoo that's when i see the biggest difference so just a little tip for you guys if you want to try that when it comes to actually toning my hair i have started toning my hair at home i made an entire video all about how to tone your hair at home and i use the wella color tangle toners the color that i use is lavender ice because this is more for if you want a cooler look which i do i want my hair to be more on the cooler side like the ashier side and it is amazing it is so easy to use this is another product that's super inexpensive i want to say it's about six dollars at sally beauty and Again, really easy to use. I will link the video where I tone my hair for you guys so that you can see exactly the steps that I take. But this is a really great product that you can do at home. Tone your hair at home. You won't mess up your actual like hair color or highlights whatsoever. It literally just tones your highlighted part of your hair or your whole hair, like if it's all like one blondish kind of color. This is really great. If you have really naturally dark hair like I do, you definitely struggle when it comes to like toning and brassy and oranginess and this has been a lifesaver for dry shampoo i work out like four or five times a week my hair is always looking a disgusting mess however dry shampoo does help keep my hair looking decent for a little bit longer and what i've realized is that i like powder dry shampoos instead of spray ones this is the playa powder dry shampoo it is a soft volume powder so not only does it like soak up the oils and residue but it also adds volume to your hair and that's why i like the powder dry shampoos i feel like they work better and they instantly give you a little bit of a lift so your hair looks a lot cleaner a lot longer i really like this heat protectant because for the most part i mainly need heat protectant when i'm styling my hair once it's already dry when i do like a curling iron which i pretty much do every single time i style my hair and i love this one i was looking for one that wouldn't wet my hair once it was already dry and this is like a spray form it's by dry bar it's called hot toddy i got the mini one because i wasn't sure if i was gonna like it i was at ulta so I just like saw that they had minis and I picked it up and I love it so much and I've used it so much that I'm almost done. So I definitely need to get the bigger size, but this is kind of perfect because I'm going to take it on vacation with me. I think those were all of the products that I was mentioning in my sit down video when I actually sat down and spoke about these products, but this was way more fun and way more intimate, you know? So what yeah. up, though? We've been in Jersey now for like two days. And whatever I ate yesterday gave me food poisoning. And I feel like crap. Oh my god. Like even this car ride is making me nauseous. I feel so sick. My body hurts. I'm cold. I have chills. I went to the doctors like an hour ago. And he said that I pretty much just have to wait it out. Because since it was something I ate, there's not really anything they could give me for it. But he did prescribe me antibiotics that I could take with me tomorrow in case i don't get better while i'm on the trip because we literally leave in the morning and i'm just so upset what are your thoughts chris is annoyed because he broke his sunglasses i have food poisoning though you're a healthy be happy be grateful anyways chris is gonna drop me off at dry bar right now um, i have no energy to do my own hair like i cannot hold up the blow dryer and do all of that like i feel so weak all i want to do is sleep and then after that um jenny's gonna fill in my lashes which hopefully i will just fall asleep once she's doing it and hopefully my stomach doesn't hurt because even laying in that position like laying flat on my back makes my stomach hurt jenny was an angel and pick me up <laughs> you guys have an idea how sick i feel and she's gonna do my lashes now i need a refill they're looking pretty crispy oh my god we're cold we're at the airport by the way oh my god there's a bird in here okay you see me? over there of course has to go buy a blanket for himself i brought my sweater because I knew I, I was gonna be cool. I, I always bring a sweater. Do you always. really though? Yeah, I swear to God. I, I feel like you that. don't. He's always like, nah, I don't need it. I'm good. No, no. Airports, yeah. Um, so 
In the last clip, I was telling you guys that I got food poisoning. And you guys, I was so, so sick, like worse than I even thought I was. When I got my lashes done, I actually had a fever. And like, I felt like I had a fever, but I was like, do I? I don't know, like I was freezing. I got home, took my temperature, I had a fever. I felt like crap, like, I think I went to bed at like 8 or 9 p.m. We woke up at 3 a.m., came to the airport, and thank God, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I still haven't had any food. I'm only drinking coconut water. Um, but yeah, uh, they're gonna start boarding us in 15 minutes, so. Thank God I'm feeling better. Hopefully I will continue to get better because I really want to enjoy this trip. <laughs> and I would love to eat actually. I haven't eaten in over 24 hours. This is our first Whoa. trip together in a long time. I'm gonna shave, I'm gonna shave over there. We're gonna enjoy this vacation. We're gonna be crazy. Well, I need to get better first. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Lay out on the beach. Are you gonna take care of me? Of course. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I'm gonna finish editing, that's what I'm doing right now. And we will see you in the next vlog. Bye. Toodaloo. Toodaloo.